For the second week in a row now, I found myself getting up at the crack of dawn. No, I'm not sick, but I actually am really happy now that the times are becoming more favourable for sunrise shoots. And as I headed to a location, driving along the road, I spotted something on the left-hand side, and I couldn't pass it up. This is why it's always good to have a plan B. Well, you know what, it's, the times are kind of getting better like I would have said in my last episode there. And this morning, looking at the forecast, it looked like I was actually going to have a small bit of action in the sky. Unlike last week where there was going to be no clouds, today there's actually quite a lot of clouds. But there's a gap right on the horizon and hopefully that will catch. Now I'm not going to be looking at the horizon, but I am hoping that the light will catch underneath the clouds and we'll get a nice sunrise. Also, I was heading out towards an area called Church Bay uh, this morning to go look over onto Roaches Point Lighthouse. And one of the best things I suppose really about, you know, landscape photography is that you can always change your mind. You've always got different options. And that's precisely what's happened this morning. So I was coming down the road here, which is the road from uh, um, Carrigaline down from uh, Crosshaven. And what I noticed is on the left-hand side, you've got an area here called Drake's Pool, which is exactly where I am at the moment. And as you can see, the water is relatively flat. Now, it was flat as I was coming up this way. I imagine with birds and such like that, they're creating a bit of ripple because they're waking up. But I decided, you know what? Yeah, change your plan, change your mind. I couldn't really pass by this scene because hopefully, like I say, if I get that uh, light in the sky, it will start to bounce and then I'll get the reflection as well in the water. So I couldn't really pass that up. So it's always good to be able to change your plan. Um, and I'm happy now that I've kind of set up here waiting now for this light to come. We're around about 25 minutes away from sunrise, but by the looks of it, anyway, as I was driving down, I could see some color in the distance. So we might get a nice sunrise anyway. Yeah, fingers crossed for this morning. So yeah, I'm gonna continue anyway just to get set up here. Once I'm set up, I'll uh, bring you down with me and uh, talk you through my composition then. So I've come down now and I've got the camera quite low actually to the ground because um, there's a, trees that are above me here and when I was up higher actually I was stood on this area here and I had to come down to the bank because when I was up so high even with the camera down in its lowest position I was getting a lot of the tree canopy and then nothing on the other end of it as well to be able to complement that or balance that rather. So I've dropped down here to the lower area and what I've done now is put the camera nah, around about you know, the, the middle setting on the tripod and I'm framing the shot um, just with these boats that are here in front of me and even though I don't have any nice light just yet I still think it would be a nice photograph. I figured out as well why all these ripples are here. There seems to be a lot of fish uh, in this area and I'm seeing them jump all around me. Now if I were a fisherman I'd be delighted but I'm not. Well I am but I don't have a fishing rod with me at the moment but yeah it's uh, an interesting first shot anyway pre-dawn light hopefully like I say I get that uh, burst of color because if it does catch these clouds that are above it will be a fantastic shot with this reflection as well um, in front of me so I'll show you my first couple of test shots anyway here and then I'll wait around and see when the light comes back and I'll check back in and again at, at that stage <laughs>
past sun rays now and as you would have seen there when I sent the drone up I actually sent the drone up to check where the sun was um, and I don't think I'm going to get any colour there is that bit of a gap it might still change you never know but the sun is up anyway now so maybe it's behind a big back, uh, bank of clouds maybe I will not get any colour but we'll see anyway nonetheless so I've stuck with my first composition anyway here for the moment and settings really there's nothing majorly interesting to, to share with you you know I've no filters on uh, I'm at uh, one sixth of a second and f6.3 and my ISO is at 100 and obviously you know my shutter speed will uh, shorten as the morning will get brighter so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move around because as you saw from the drone there this is a kind of a, an, an islandy area or a, a jutting out area and so the water uh, is a bend in, in the estuary and will come around and there's boats all the way around it so I'm going to take a walk around now and see uh, what other type of composition that I can find from here this morning. around now to the other side here uh, it's pretty much more the same anyway there's no real uh, color after catching in the sky so best laid plans and all that but what it has done is given me some new boats to photograph water here as well is quite calm so getting some relatively good uh, reflections but there's a couple of nice boats as well that I might do is I might swap out my uh, lens and go for my 70 to 200 and pick out some individual boats as well uh, within the array of them there because there's so many of them there, you know, okay, they're nice, but I think it might be actually nicer to have one particular boat in the image. What I'm also noticing as well is that there's the first real touches of autumn as well starting to appear. So there's a couple of trees on the other side here, they're starting to turn, and because the water is flat, I'm getting a nice reflection. So I might move along uh, the bank here as well, kind of frame up a couple of different shots with that one bit of color that I have in the background, and we'll see as well how those shots will turn out. At the moment now, I am shooting at uh, F8, I'm at 1 13th of a second and I put my eyes up to 400. The reason I'm at 1 13th is I want to be able to freeze it because the, the fish are creating some ripples in the water. So at that point when I took that shot there, I had some ripples. It seems to be calm right now, so I'll adjust that as well also. But I'll give you a look at the different types of shots in here that I get from this area here. And like I say, now I'm going to swap out to the long lens and see if I can pick out one or two individual boats as well, because I think that could be a nice shot. Coming around now to the far side of uh, Drake's Pool and I am starting to see a small bit of colour actually coming in the sky so it's been quite delayed. We're around about 25 minutes after sunrise so um, maybe there's a tiny tiny bit of a gap here or in the upper atmosphere but it's starting to create a bit of colour. Now what this has done as well is opened up a whole new sequence of boats and I'm happy now that I've got my long lens on because I want to pick out a couple of those boats as an individual frame. 
in the distance as well I can see an old tree um, which is lying dead on the bank but because the water here is so calm get a nice reflection as well from that so I might zoom in on that also and pick out a couple of vignettes in relation to that it's getting quite busy now people are waking up and the main road is right beside me here so it's going to get quite noisy so I'm happy that I managed to get out early anyway okay you know I didn't get any great shakes it was all looking as if it was going to be fantastic but it wasn't fantastic in the light but it was still fantastic to get out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a couple of shots anyway here. I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very, very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schnanke Fogel.